Um, why am I here? I'm here because my sister decided quite early on to come here and then she suggested that I should come and I thought about it for a little while while I was packing boxes in Sydney and I said, why the hell not? It would probably be pretty fun. Kids that I teach back home, you know, if their iPod goes flat or if their PlayStation isn't working, it's the biggest disaster ever. But these kids, you know, they wear second-hand clothes, their shoes break and they don't have any other shoes to get. The kids that I teach at home can learn quite a few things from these kids. They're the most beautiful children I've ever met in my life. When I uh, first came to Kenya and lived with Wambui in Nairobi, each day I'd come home from the children's home and I would be frustrated at the directors who were running the children's home and their, their lack of passion and empathy for the, for the children. And so it was with no hesitation when Wambui called me about nine months after I'd left Kenya to say that she wanted to start her own home with the 15 children from the previous children's home they would have the opportunities the kids should have, being a quality diet, quality education, love and, and attention from good stuff. When my mum and my dad died, I went to my aunt's place, that's where I used to live. Then my aunt used not to treat me well. Then my grandmother went for me there. She came and stayed with her. And then she came and asked mum whether I could go to family Moja. Then that's how I went to At the moment we have 13 volunteers uh, helping us with the finishing touches of the home. They've also got involved in running art and drama classes at another primary school that our children go to. The reason why we're doing art and drama again is because the feedback from the local community from the last art and drama classes was that positive that we had to do it again. We are used to having many people in the house. So when you have volunteers, it makes a, a, a good, a good, um, it's a good experience for us. Yeah, and even for the kids at the children's home, they love having the volunteers. There's not much needs to be said about Jess. He's a great bloke. Um, he's doing a great thing. He puts all his time and effort into it. He supports another family who lives there, who lives here in, um, in Kenya. In, yeah, Kenya. <laughs> We're in Kenya? Yeah. <laughs> Meeting those kids and seeing how gracious they are and how kind and how happy they are is just like nothing I've ever seen before. And so it has been very fun and um, I'm 110% glad I came. Good. Mm.